What's going on you guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. I figured I'd start this video off a little bit different. We're here inside the office at the Attention Deficit HQ and I'm going to show you guys how I get things done and what my setup's like. So as you guys know I have the barn project in progress and that's actually where I'm going to be moving my office. So this is just temporary. This is what I've been working with for the past year that we've lived here. But I'm really looking forward to moving out there in the barn having my own space and being able to get things done without distractions. So I guess we'll start out with the boring stuff. I got Got these two bookshelves off of Craigslist a while back. They were already painted black. Love the way they look. They're solid wood too, and it's a pretty nice deal. I keep my books up here. I actually have this um, bookend that my aunt Suzanne gave me from Georgia, and I absolutely love these things. I've had them since I was a kid, but they're pretty cool. Shout out to my cousin Azariah for making this. I think it's like a piece of slate or something, but it's pretty cool. He like painted it and stuff. Moving on down, we have like all my camera stuff. I have two of the um, boxes for the GoPros. Got my G7X the faux pro the iContact 4k camera that they sent out and i have a few different lenses here both of these are the kit lenses this is the 18 to 55 and this one i never really use is the 55 to 250 millimeter and this one is my uh, the nifty 50 uh, prime lens absolutely love this lens and right now i'm filming this video at the 10 to 18 wide angle moving over here just have some like toys and like trinkets and stuff i built this tractor a while back out of connects do more of what makes you happy my girlfriend actually gave me that just got some more storage bins, my main camera bag, more storage stuff, and that's pretty much it. More storage back here. The chair that I never sit in, but when people come over, Alexis likes to sit here sometimes. Got this super nice chair from Staples a while back. I actually bought one for my mom too, but they're like really ergonomic and you can sit here all day long and you won't have any back pain or anything. They're actually really nice. More storage. Got a heater. Sometimes it gets cold down here in the winter next to the window. This is my charging station. I made a little stand for this power outlet and this is where I charge all my camera batteries and pretty much everything. Got this organizer from Ikea. It's super nice. Got these three Yeti cans where I keep change in. And moving on to the fun part. The main part of the setup, man, the computer. I worked on this setup for a while. I actually got this desk. It's like a super old desk that I got from my girlfriend's dad. And I turned around, sanded it, and had my dad paint it as flat black. And it turned out really nice. I'm kind of bummed it's starting to get worn out here. But my favorite part of the setup is definitely the monitor, the ultra wide LG 21 by 9 monitor. This thing just makes editing a breeze, and it's been really nice to have. Gotta have the picture of Diesel. Shout out to Alexis North for that. There he is down there. Diesel. Hey bud. Moving on, I'm rocking the HyperX Cloud 2 headset. This is actually a really nice headset, budget friendly, and it's done the job very well. These earmuffs kind of isolate sound too, which is nice. And it's got the microphone on deck. Got Pickle Rick chilling over here. Shout out to Tina for that. Subscriber painted this and sent it out. I absolutely love it. Rocking the Razer keyboard and mouse. These have been pretty good to me. My mouse finally started acting up. I don't know what's up with that, but it's all RGB so I can configure it to whatever color I want. It's been pretty cool. It's got the real tactile uh, keys on it, which I really like. For sound, I'm using the Behringer Euphoria UMC 204 HD. I literally haven't used this thing once, guys. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I bought like a real nice mic and everything thinking I was going to do voiceovers with it, but it's never really gotten used. But once I move everything out there and I have my own space and I can talk without being heard, I'll use it a lot more on top of it you're probably wondering what the heck this is this is actually a piston from the bike that you guys haven't seen yet so i'll give you the full story on this very soon but it made for a cool desk piece rocking the google home here in the back which also never gets used in the heart of the whole operation here my custom pc it's rocking the i5 4690k 16 gigs of ram it's got the gtx 950 a 240 gig ssd a two terabyte hard drive as well all of that in a Rio toro case it runs super quiet it's been good to me definitely going to upgrade some point in the future but for now it's killing it i definitely got a steal on this thing only paid like 500 dollars for it three years ago and it's been able to keep up with all of my tasks up till today shout out to alexis north for this as well don't want to forget that definitely one of my favorite pieces here in the office but yeah guys that pretty much wraps up the tour i hope you guys enjoyed definitely spend a lot of hours in that chair right there getting that content out to you guys but like i said i can't wait to move the operation out there and be able to take things to the next level maybe even start a podcast for those of you that don't know we actually live here with my grandparents me and lex moved in here a while back to help take care of them they're 90 years old and they're slowing down quite a bit but they're still very capable we're just here to help with the small things and help out around the house and things like that you know what, while we're at it, I'll go ahead and give you a tour real quick.
Definitely love this house. Very old timey antique feel. That's actually a painting of my grandma, Tasha Tudor, and Amelia. Got the birds chilling over here. Shout out to Henry and Thoreau. Oh man, little Tanner right there. Another one. <laughs> Got the sunroom over here. Lots of light in here. But I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the house. I'll definitely be showing more in the future, but it's an awesome place to be. Definitely thankful to be in the situation that I am to be able to help them out, help the family out. And I'm glad you guys are able to be here with me. I appreciate your support. We made it, we did it. First milestone of many to come. I haven't been able to post as much as I'd like lately, but we'll get that figured out. That's life. We'll just have to work around it, make things work. I don't want to bring you guys content that I'm not proud of, so I'm not going to put out stuff just to put out stuff. We'll figure it out. We'll squeeze time where we can and we'll get stuff done. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Just kind of gives you a better look into behind the scenes of what goes on here. It's a few days later and we're out in the shop right now doing some major renovations. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek of that. And that's going to end today's video. 